let me put my lenses on. All right, so I'm a little bit early because last video it was a disaster my first life on youtube here and let me tell you <laughs> it was terrible i was like bubbling all over the place i was not sure i was so nervous i'm still nervous today because i know there is a lot of people in the world that might be watching this so if i make mistakes i am a push so Last Sunday, I made this background with alcohol inks and I use uh, piñata alcohol inks and different colors. If you wanna see that video, just check on my uh, videos down below. I can actually add the link later. So my idea with this painting was making a floral and I was thinking about tulips, okay, tulips. So the alcohol ink, did his own background and I used blue, green, magenta and this part over here I'm gonna start painting it white because I want this part of the painting to be nice and light so I'm gonna start doing that while we reach the 12 p.m. so I have my colors already in here all mixed up and yeah I'm gonna start Making and remember, if you want to use acrylics on top of alcohol ink, I recommend you to use uh, camera varnish. is the only thing that you can fix alcohol inks. There is a lot of fixities out there for watercolors, but I suggest you this one is the best. I have been using it for years, and it seals the ink before you start working with any other medium. Okay, so. And again, this is gonna be very abstract, even though if I want a little bit of like this background up here to show, I'm okay with that. Um, but I just wanna cover a little bit of like the ink that is going through and I'm using gesso for that. By the way, guys, <laughs> happy Easter, it's Sunday, not Saturday. Last video, I was so nervous and I was like, well, Happy Saturday! I'm like, oh no, it's a Sunday. Anyway, so if you are here and you're new to my channel, I decided that I'm going to focus on Sundays and going live with different subjects related to painting, mostly abstract painting. And yeah, so. I kind of like how I like the up here a little bit because it was a little bit too weird. So, <laughs> welcome everybody, welcome. So yeah, I just, what I'm doing literally is just like cleaning it up. Okay, it's just a little clean up because now I'm gonna start working on the floral. Um, I already have here mix my colors and I'm gonna use my square and I'm gonna use green and this green I'm gonna do I'm gonna follow what the alcohol ink did and I'm gonna start doing some stems here and there very very abstract like I am not thinking about anything just to give a little bit of light movement to the paintings, okay? Okay, that's that. And now I'm gonna get my burnt sienna and I'm gonna pour it right in here. I'm gonna do a line and I'm gonna use my spatula and this spatula is gonna give me the stems. So, okay, so the stems like this. So I can move the stem however I want. And I have an idea where the flowers might be. So I'm gonna start doing my stems. And again, it's very abstract. We don't have a clue. I don't have a clue what's gonna come up but I have the idea of a 
the spring floral happy easter colors <laughs> ah you guys honestly there is nothing wrong when we do abstract so you go we got this all right so i put some stamps in there and i'm gonna make many many more because i want to come and do small and it looks like they are floating in the water kind of okay i'm gonna switch to my credit card i mean it's not a credit card it's like a <laughs> petrol point cards and i'm gonna do small ones And some of them might be picking through where I put the Y, which is nice. So yeah, I decided that I want to do live videos because I have been so busy with going back to work. I don't have much time to paint and make videos and edit them. So I decide might as well shows, hi guys, might as well just go live with you guys and show stuff. So right now what I'm doing is I'm using a uh, Rasiana and I'm using a uh, Petro Point cards and I'm doing some stems. I already have an idea where my flowers are gonna be. All right, so now I'm gonna use one of my palette knives. And I'm gonna use a very, very, very tiny one. And I'm gonna get my green, and I wanna light that green a little bit, just a tiny bit with some yellow, a little bit of white. And I'm gonna do some greens here and there where I put my stems. Again, it's very abstract what we're doing, so don't worry about it. Just have fun and move the paint around. And I just love the idea of coming just like floating in the water. I think it's pretty cool. Okay. And then just kind of crush it a little bit here and there. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the flowers. So I'm gonna do a little bit of mix and mash with flowers. So I'm gonna use my round brush over here, okay? And I'm gonna follow my magenta and I'm gonna add pink, like a very light pink and then I just gonna do some petals just to make sure that I know that is a flower. I'm gonna do the same on my other areas over here. And remember, it's pretty abstract, which is giving the painting an idea of like flowers I'm gonna maybe that over here and then also this one over here and just adding literally just dots so I'm gonna make this one look a little bit bigger and maybe I'm just gonna make it like looking like it's a rose kind of I'm not sure but yeah something like that so you guys know that there's kind of a flower in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the red. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna do the same over here. And over here on this one, I'm gonna add a little bit of my red here. So this one is looking kind of that way. And then this one here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do this one a little bit more dark in here and then I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow 
she has started looking more like a daisy mm, she has kind of this way and then this way over here that's looking more like a flower <laughs> And then I might just add another one right here. Okay. So yeah, I decided to go live today because I'm free today. So, all right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of my brown sienna and just make this a little bit more realistic over there all right so i'm gonna use my super 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 hello everybody welcome i'm just trying to finish this painting with the alcohol ink background and i'm just adding some abstract florals <laughs> right now it's looking like what is going on but it's getting there i'm working on it so we just need to be patient and i might switch my brush because this brush is not giving me what i want all right just a quiet sunday for those looking to spend time on painting i am here i'm gonna add a little bit of yellow over here and a little bit more here and then more of my white because i find that white and soft yellow looks much better than the pink that i just add at least that's what i'm seeing right now and i'm gonna keep getting my credit card and i'm gonna keep adding stamps so that way we know where is that coming from okay i think it's looking pretty cute already and i haven't done anything much and then just playing around these tools and credit cards and craziness so i'm just gonna add a little bit of green over here i'm gonna scratch it all right so i want to add a little bit more of flowers over here kind of the those cute ones okay just looking different ways I'm gonna do a little bit of this one over here with some more pink and then and remember it's pretty abstract so don't don't be scared do your thing play around add colors and have fun because i think it does what the abstract comes so pretty is when you don't think too much and oh i have a great idea okay this thing is falling what's going on here all right so i think i want to add a little bit of purple okay so i'm gonna make a little bit of light because i want to add like those cute i'm gonna start very dark first and i have a stem coming down in here so i'm gonna start adding very small little petals in here and i don't know if you guys know about these flowers but and again I just love flowers in general so i might add another one in here and then one more in here all right and then i'm gonna come with my purple and i'm gonna go the opposite way just to have more movement and then i'm gonna come with my white i'm gonna add a little bit more of fullness to it 
I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing, but you can see a little bit of like things are forming and getting full. So I might do a little bit of that purple over here, a little bit lighter this time. I'm going to add a little bit more dark so I can add a little bit more of movement to the painting. It's more about a like composition kind of way that looks good. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my white just to get it more full. Thank you for being in here, guys. This is very surprising that you are watching my videos on Sunday. Even though it's Easter Sunday, most people are like preparing for their brunches or dinners and stuff. I am painting. I already did all that on Friday. Took care of the family. We good. All right, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more of daisies uh, down here. It's just like a small ones. Okay, and I'm going to start pretty, pretty yellow. I'm going to do a little bit more yellow. My daisies look probably like, I don't know, from which planet, but <laughs> I'm trying my best just to, you know, make things work and look prettier. And it's all about getting light strokes of your brushes. Don't go too crazy because at the end, remember, we're doing abstract, so I'm going to maybe do a few more in here and I'm gonna come with my red I'm just gonna do some buttons here and there a little bit of brown just to make it a little bit more realistic or let's say Again, so I like where it's going, so I'm going to add a little bit more over here. And I don't want to crowd it too much. I like the background. It's looking pretty cute. And I like that the stems are like literally flooring in the water. So I'm going to add maybe a new, like a kind of rose in here, like a tiny one. You know, a very not realistic at all rose <laughs> when you guys can see that it's a, a flower abstract flower it's the beauty of painting i might just add a little bottom in here and then same in here it's just to have a little bit more of a color okay so i'm gonna add white i'm gonna add more white let me go this way so you guys can see honestly this video is much better than last sunday i think so myself you guys can see much better <laughs> before it was like terrible all right so i'm gonna add a little bit of white to this one over here and then i'm gonna come i'm gonna add a little bit more of my yellow so what i'm doing is uh giving the flower more, I don't know, stuff. So I'm gonna add it here. And I think that at the background that we did with the alcohol ink is what actually getting this painting to look fabulous because we didn't have anything before. So starting a painting from scratch with no background is very hard for me so all right i'm gonna add more stems over here and i might use my detail brush for that so that way i can move it around a little bit better just making the stems of the flowers so you know where it come from. All right, so I think it's looking fabulous. I'm gonna give you a little bit more close. Come close to me, baby. Come close to me. 
a little bit closer so that way you guys can see. I literally haven't done much and it's looking so pretty already. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of my white in here. Okay. And I'm gonna make the center of this flower here a little bit more cute because right now it looks like meh. I might just probably do a little bit of like dark purples in here and I'm gonna do the same. So this is just like right now I'm just detailing the painting. I'm sure we can add so much more but when you just go overboard and I do and you do too much then just loses the purpose of like being loose and you know getting the abstract look. I think I definitely will love to hang this painting somewhere in my home because it's very cute. I'm gonna dart this over here a little bit just to make that a little bit different from it. And then I'm gonna add more of my green. So I'm gonna try and make the petals a little bit more, I mean the stems a little bit more like bigger. Same over here. Just like the greenery. Okay, so I'm gonna add tiny, tiny, tiny bit of like little mini purples, like I would call it iris. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do tiny bit over here. And you know what, they don't have a form. They're just cute as a, just do like random little dots. It doesn't have to be perfect. Florals, flowers, they are not perfect. And that's the beauty about painting flowers because you can do whatever you want and I, and I love that. All right, so let's see, what else can I add? So I'm gonna add a little bit more of white so you guys can see what I did here. All right. I honestly cannot wait for summer and I go to my outdoor studio. It's beautiful, it's located in Oakville and it's perfect to do live videos because it's outdoor and I can do so much. All right, so let me just look at what's happening in here. So I think I'm gonna do a few more stems coming out over here. And then I might do a few coming out over here. Just to balance a little bit. And I didn't use much paint this time, which is awesome. All right, so I'm gonna keep putting, now I'm gonna use like just very, very soft and again, I have my palette here, it's a mess. So I just want to make this light, light, a little bit more lighter, like the purple. And then I'm going to kind of, let me see, let me see. And I'm going to add a few more down here. Okay. And again, at this point, they, they look more like dots and stuff, but you just want to add color to the painting. Okay, so it can be either a pink, a purple, whatever color you wanna add, just make sure that it looks pretty. And that's the only thing you have to do, my friends. All right, so I'm gonna add more cute flowers in here and then over here. And I think it's looking so cute. Maybe we should do butterflies, but for that, another video. Because I have been telling my friends that I'm gonna do butterflies, and let me tell you, I am terrible at it. So, I don't wanna make that mistake right now. And you know what I'm saying, I'm cool. Everything's looking beautiful, and 
very abstract. Okay, I think I don't want to touch it anymore. I do not like this over here. So I'm going to scrape it out of the way. And I'm just going to add a little bit more of white over here. There. So now I'm going to come with my beautiful yellow. And I'm just going to make the petals a little bit more darker with those yellows that I use for my small little daisy and I think the yellow is gorgeous okay and now I have to put a little bit more of this one over here and I just want to make it a little bit bigger just because I am cool all right, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of the center over here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of darkness on the center. And I might just add nothing more. I think it looks pretty cute. What I'm doing just now is just like doing some touches with the yellow because I think the yellow is very pretty on the background that we did so you can see gold over here and you can see all of the green that we did when I did the background with alcohol in okay so right now I just feel that I need to add a little bit more of lighting for these mini babies this iris in here okay I'm gonna do the same over here here and I think I'm going to add a little bit of this yellow over here for these guys and a little bit over here okay I think she is fabulous looking gorgeous thank you so much for watching it was very simple it was very quick and it only took us what 30 minutes but if you want to see how I did the background, just watch my other video because that one is very important just to get like the whole flowing kind of thing. I might just add a few things here and there later, but I think I love how she looks like already. Thank you so much for watching on a Sunday and I will see you next Sunday. Next Sunday, I have a surprise for you. I will not tell you what I'm going to paint but we are going to use alcohol inks and acrylics on canvas. So I will see you all the next video next Sunday and stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, subscribe so you don't miss any of my life every Sunday. Bye and enjoy.